You're watching Entertainment Las Vegas Style with your host, Entertainment Ambassador, Tony Saka. There's no other place like Las Vegas to see. No other place like Las Vegas to be. Where people mountains around the town. Your dreams and fantasies are all around. The lights are so bright, they stand so high in the sky. So let you know there's going to be a show in Las Vegas, what a town. Entertainment Las Vegas style features the hottest headliners, celebrities, and performers, and the most exciting production shows from the entertainment capital of the world. This is Entertainment Las Vegas style. Tonight on a look back Las Vegas style from the year 1999, the Doobie Brothers. Could you imagine, I mean, starting out as the Doobie Brothers, uh, putting a, uh, a little country folk rock group together, first from California? Yeah turning into what it is today. Could you, did you imagine that would happen with the Doobie Brothers? No, you don't. You know, uh, you think about it from time to time. I don't know if they still say this, but they used to say the average lifespan of a rock band or you know, a, a popular entertainment group, maybe five, six years. And there are a few of us who uh, you know, have been around 27, 28, 29 years now. And no, you never would have imagined that. You never would have imagined that. It's, it's, it's wonderful. We've been very lucky, very fortunate. We have great fans. And, uh, and they're still with us. And we sold that here in Las Vegas. And could you imagine 20 years ago, somebody said, hey, Keith, you're going to be a Vegas act. <laughs> <laughs> I would have probably gone, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, you, you, you know, I mean, I started off playing in uh, uh, sock hops at the high school. I wasn't doing any good at sports, so the only way I could get girls was to be in the band. You know? that, was, that was it. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, now I've got my girls, you know, I have my wife and my daughter, and, That's uh, great. you know, and great. less hair. <laughs> you look great. And it's all the Doobie Brothers' fault, actually, right. every right. bit of it. Jesus is just all right with me. Jesus yeah. is just all right. I mean, this is a, you're, you're singing almost, this is almost like a, a Christian type music. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I can only speak personally, you know, I mean, Jesus, uh, the, 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 the spirit, the character, the persona of who Jesus might be is a lot of different things for a lot of people. Certainly there's the, the standard uh, uh, institutionalized biblical version and uh, what people worship and all that right. stuff. And then there's the, the idea of Jesus, the life of Jesus, the spirit, right. that kind of spirit. About, uh, it's more of a spiritual thing than it is a, uh, a, a for me anyway, personally, I can't speak for everybody else in the band, but I don't go to church, but I am a spiritual person. Well, and we I, believe I, in the essence of God. Yeah, you know, exactly. Of course. It's in all of our lives, right. whether you want to admit it or not. This is just all right with me. We're in the middle of making a new album right now, which hopefully will be our best album. You never which know. Which will be number 16? Oh, geez, I don't know. I got, I got 15 albums out, 13 are gold, and 11 are platinum. It's like a boxer. You know, you got 29 KT yeah, yeah. TKOs. And, uh, yeah. yeah, we've been very fortunate. <clears throat> um, I, when I was reading the bio, I know that the group before Doobie Brothers was, was the Puds. Yeah, Pud. Pud. Yeah. But I can't p picture past me the Puds. <laughs> I mean, I want to document this right now that the, the Doobie Brothers, <laughs> and I love this. Yeah, the original course, name was Pud. Right. I mean, that's what the band well, called it. It came to the Doobies because right. coming from the old marijuana term. Yeah, I think uh, I wasn't there at the moment, but I believe uh, what happened was uh, <laughs> one of their this. friends suggested they call themselves the Doobie Brothers. Something about sprinkling certain substances on cereal, breakfast cereal, I don't know. <laughs> but it stuck, and here it is. and. Uh, you know, it's been a good name. So, a la Doobie Brothers, sound uh, this new album? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I get that question a lot. Is it going to sound like the old Doobie Brothers? Uh, my opinion is, no matter what we do, it sounds like the Doobie Brothers because of the people. It's, it's us playing right. the music. It's the energy. Um, uh, I, you know, certainly you won't hear any hip-hop or any of that stuff. It's not because, uh, it's just that's not what we do. Right. You know, right. I mean, we would probably uh, 
you know, really make a mess of something like that. Right. Uh, and it doesn't make any sense for it. It makes, us, it makes sense for us to do what we do best, right. Right. And, uh, and which is uh, what we're trying to do. at the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino, where the biggest names in show business come alive nightly. Call and try. Live music, no lip syncing. Do you believe in love the original celebrity tribute spectacular, 794-3261, or call toll free, only at the Imperial Palace Center Strip.